tonight on The Prophet. That was pretty good. <laughs> a custom drum company can't find the rhythm to meet supply and demand. Our turnaround time is six to seven months. Six to seven months? Yeah. And that's created a backlog of unpaid bills and serious cash flow problems. We don't have enough money to cover payroll for next week. I mean, you're kind of closed. Yeah. The owner and his right-hand man are out of sync. The lack of communication, I think, between Chris and Mike, it was like, it's just, exactly. And the two brothers who started this business have split up. What did I ever do to you? I really don't want to get into all that. Causing a whole nother layer of crippling issues. If they can't fix their process and their relationship, fixing the business in this is hard enough. They'll be forced to close their doors forever. I can't take this. Mike? Yeah. Hey, hey Marcus. How nice are you? to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. This place is rocking. It's crazy. I can't believe I still have my voice. And so this is the product that you make? Yeah, we make custom drums from start to finish. How much is this setup like this? This set is about six thousand dollars. This is Chris. How you doing, Chris? Very nice to meet you. I'm Marcus. What do you do? I order all the parts for manufacturing, finance. You a partner in the business? We act like partners, but I have no equity stake in the business. So that's a no. Yes. So. so something beautiful like this. Yeah. What's your cost to make it? Materials and labor. Six hundred and eighty dollars. What will you sell this piece for? Seven ninety five. So basically, fifteen percent margins. Right. Right. That's a lot of work for fifteen points. Exactly. Right. These things look badass. Thank you. Your margins are not badass. Yeah. Right, right. What does SJC stand for? It's my brother's initials, Scott James Chaprari. We started the company together 15 years ago. He's not in the business anymore? What was interesting to me is the range of ages that were in that booth, excited to see and play SJC. It was impressive. Awesome. If they could offer up more affordable kits, this is maybe one of the few businesses that I think has more potential than even the owner thinks. This is our warehouse. This is kind of the start of the process. Who schedules the workflow that happens? Yeah, I schedule every, every order that comes through. So who's in charge of sales? Me. And who makes sure that it's priced properly? I created the pricing tool, and Mike said these prices are too high. I'm trying to be competitive to, to get sales in the door. So you're inefficient and you're priced below market, right. which okay. means you have high costs and no margin. Death spiral. Death spiral. In 2014, you sold less and things got worse. Yep. What else changed? Scott left in 13. Scott, your brother. <laughs> you miss your brother? Yeah, I miss him. We, when it was just me and him, the first few years, it was awesome. And now this is a mess and he's not here and he resents me either way, you know? I wish your brother knew how you felt. Our relationship has been so far gone for so long. Or you have to fix it. Yeah. <laughs> it's obvious to me that this place has hit rock bottom. In order for this business to be successful, it needs to have working capital so that I don't ever have to hear, I couldn't finish the order because I didn't have whatever part they're missing. Right. My offer is $400,000 for 33% of the business. $300,000 will pay off all of the current liabilities, and $100,000 will go into the account so that there is cash. But you're not keeping two thirds. I was gonna bring that up. What were you gonna bring up? That I wanna bring Chris in now. Good, because that was my contingency, that we're equal partners, the three yes. of us. $400,000 check. We have a deal? We have a deal. Thank you. you. Got it. I want to make a nice kit that solves the entry level market with the highest retail being $895. The good kit will be our entry level price point. What kind of margin do you want? You need at least 40%. Okay. Tell me what the cost would have to be. You got $895 times 0.4. 537. Cost. Yep. That's why he's in charge of the numbers. I know. You guys are going to put together a kit for $537. So go to work. Did we want to go with 2.1 hoops on the medium kit? Uh, 1.6 millimeter hoops are a little bit cheaper, but they're... That's they're going to be on our lower yeah, definitely save that one for the, the base kit. Yeah. How you guys doing? We're having some trouble trying to get the price down on the good kit. What's the issue? Most of our metal components are about the same price, no matter what you use, so 
We're trying to find other ways around it to reduce either costs of, you know, finishing. So let me put some thoughts in and I'll see what I come up with. All right? Awesome. Thanks. Keep working at it, though. I think there may be a solution. It's a risky one. Hey, Marcus. Hey, bud. How are you? Good, how are you? You doing all right? Yeah. I invited Scott here to see if he'll consider working with SJC again. But in order for that to happen, he and Mike are gonna have to patch up their differences. There is a lot of animosity. Quite frankly, I'm not sure that their relationship can be repaired. Thank you for coming here. We built the business together. There were obviously lots of disagreements and things that were said and done. What did I ever do to you? I really don't want to get into all that. All I did was work hard. All I did was work hard, too. No, all you didn't do was work hard. You worked hard, and you formed the mutiny, and you turned people against me. I apologize for the way that you feel about those certain situations. But you came up with that culture. He, he knows And that. you fostered it. Let's Mars. talk about drums. My ideas, I think, will be better suited to put into play if I see what things Let's are Let's go right do now. it. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. If we can't even be in the same room together because you can cut the tension with a knife, then I would rather just check out too. I can't take this. What part? All of it. I understand what you're saying and I understand where you're coming from. He doesn't want to hear you say, I'm sorry that you feel like I pushed you out. It's very different than saying, I'm sorry that you got pushed out of here. It's very different. To think that your brother doesn't add some value is asinine. I think he can add something to the business. That was not the way that I wanted it to go. I wanted to come in here and say, I am sorry, truly, that I did not defend you when the hit the fan and stuff happened here. The culture was, yes, something that I created, and I was doing what I thought was right, and I didn't know what the I was doing. You thought what was right was to defend them and, and treat me like an outcast? And I'm sorry for that. I want some sort of relationship that is healthy for us. I understand. And then not to be awkward. I never wanted it to be this way either. All right, I think that's enough for today. All right, thanks for coming. So what options are important for people that doesn't throw a wrench in the process? It's definitely pain. I have ideas about that. I think you go one flat finish, but it's a natural satin stain because then you're eliminating the cost of the laminate. You're eliminating an extra step when you're doing the bearing edges. If you offer a 20 and a 22, you have almost the same shipping cost because you're still getting one box, but they were able to get another shell in there. Scott's knowledge of innovation and creativity is second to none. And quite frankly, I think that's the missing recipe that's going to get us to the magic number. That's yeah. a good looking set. Yeah, it's sick. And what does that cost? It's cost $537. We will have a retail margin of 40%. And that meets our goal. I've brought Mike and Chris to New York City to Sam Ash, one of the nation's leading music retailers. They've been in business over 90 years, with over 50 locations. How you doing? Hi, we never met. I'm Mike. Nice Mike, you. how you doing? How are you? I'm Marcus. Marcus, pleasure to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Cool. Yeah, so my brother and I started the company out of our grandmother's basement in Dudley, Massachusetts. SJC is actually my brother's initials. Right now, what we're doing is instead of just being a full-fledged custom shop like we've done in the past, we are developing a product mix, a good, better, best model, where we'd love to have this, which is the better kit, available in your store. Price-wise, where, where are you? This kit to Sam Ash should be about $1,100, um, where you guys could retail it at about $1,700. That's, no, I'm sorry. You've picked a very difficult category. The kid gets down here and he's got all these brands to choose from. You want us to say, but what you really want is the SJC. Right. I why? think the I think the backstory of you know our artists that we have. Why does Trey Cool choose SJC? Slipknot used to play Pearl. Now Slipknot's playing SJC. I've gone on tour with bands, whether it's Imagine Dragons or Slipknot or Green Day, whoever it is. We could parlay that, have the band come in for kids to meet the band. So in you think you can get Green Day to play in our store? Him and I are great friends. I've been to his wedding. He came to my wedding. Wow, that he, is very cool. Well, you know what? It's very exciting because all these companies that are represented here are huge multinational corporate juggernauts. So it would be a pleasure for us to help somebody like yourself spread the word. We'd love to do it. Thank you so much. Not easy, but no. exciting. You did good, kid. Thanks. 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 You sold us some drums. Things at SJC seem to be better than they've been in a long time. 
process is working and the business is ramped up really nicely. On an annualized basis, we could do as much as $1.8 million, almost doubling the business. The greatest thing I feel like is the fact that we are actually talking and I think it's awesome that Marcus opened up that door, pretty much forced the door. You did kind of force it on us, but it worked and it's definitely helped me move on. How are things between the two of you guys now compared to before? Better? A lot better. All I'm right, my full. man. I appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, welcome.